We look at everything alive and we try to understand what is universal, all living things, and we drill down. This kind of like cutting into the base of a tree where you can walk back in time and we identify the oldest parts of biology, which are four billion years old. So we can basically look back at molecules um, from very near to the origin of life. Those molecules are contained in everyone. In the area of chemical evolution, I have been working to design systems that can show how molecules can evolve and how they might have evolved on the early Earth. We really need to understand how life could have evolved robustly, even in the presence of a lot of uncertainties and environmental fluctuations. So that's really what we're looking for, reactions that can go easily in the lab and that could have occurred at high yield under a range of environmental conditions. My lab has recently been funded to work on a very exciting new project. And what we're doing is we are looking into the DNA that we find deep, deep, deep below the seafloor. And we're taking that DNA and we're actually expressing it into protein, which is what the biochemists do. But we're taking DNA that's never been studied before, genes that have never been studied in the lab before, and then we're testing them on simulated deep ecosystems. So this is kind of the first time that we've been able to really do experimental work to understand what these microbes could be doing deep, deep, deep below the ocean. So this condition is, to give you the full acronym, it's called Space Flight Associated Neuroocular Syndrome, but we just call it SANS. There's a nerve behind the eye that carries the information from your eye to your brain, and that, the sheath around that nerve swells up. You get folds or kind of like little wrinkles in the retina, which is the photosensitive tissue at the back of the eye, and you get swelling of one part of the eye called the optic nerve head region. So when you put all of those things together, that's what SANS is. Basically, it degrades vision. You could kind of imagine from what I just described to you that that wouldn't be good for being able to see. And some of that vision's recovered when folks get back on Earth, but it's not all recovered, so this is not a trifling matter. Mm -hmm.